Vacation rental homes near Disney World are bringing in huge gross rental income profits to investors. Today I'm going to take you through two homes in the Champions Gate area. One of them needs some renovation and one of them is pretty much brand new. And we're going to help you decide which one could be the better investment for you. Disney's 50th anniversary is going full steam and the number of travelers coming to Orlando in the coming years is expected to rise to the 100 million visitors or more number. And these vacation rental properties with six or eight bedrooms or more are bringing in close to $400 a night and being rented out throughout the entire year which helps investors cover the cost of maintaining them as well as take home some profit every single month. But you have to be careful about which ones to invest in. You wanna have the amenities nearby and you wanna have it looking sharp so it gets the best reviews and gets rented out more often and for more money. So in today's video, follow along with me through two of these homes and you're gonna hear some of my comments and feedback on which one might be a better choice for you. So let's jump in the car and head down to Champions Gate, just south of Disney World Orlando. All right, so exterior wise, you know, it's built in 2015 and they don't maintain the exterior of the home for you. They do the landscaping, but you can see there's a little bit of stucco cracking. We're probably gonna need a repaint of the house in the next few years. That screen is uh, off the windowsill a little bit. Just some things to bring to the attention of the property management team. Okay. So this plan is quite familiar. We sold a few of these same exact floor plan. It's nice and open in the kitchen, leads out to the pool. But before we get that way, let's start to look at just some of the minor wear and tear. This is common with every vacation rental. You gotta check on carpets and see when they need to get replaced. Bedding, uh, paint, stuff like showers, getting them re-grouted and caulked in the garage, making this game room, insulating the garage doors. They had, do have the split mini split unit air conditioner which is nice to have in the summer for the guest but just you know punching this up a little bit more you can see the floor needs to be redone the tile is your basic square shaped here's one of those master bedrooms on the first level we're talking carpet paint bedding in the bathrooms, making sure the showers are nice and clean, but the tile work looks pretty good. This goes out to the pool. You could really punch up these light fixtures too. Now, some of the furniture might be getting a bit worn, such as this table here. You can see it's just got the finishes chipping off. So in addition to cosmetic refurbishment, more paint work needed there, you can spend some money on better furniture, bedding, light fixtures, and we'll get to upstairs with some of those theme rooms in just a little bit. Let's go take a look at the pool. Okay, so it's a little bit cold today in Florida. Kind of a rare cold day, but you can see this sort of dry retention pond, not even a pond, dry retention sand area. It gives you a lot of privacy. And the road's a little bit curved, so you have a little more space between the homes here. The Oasis Club is just over there. Some of these screens have some little gaps in them, so we gotta get a screen person to come stretch these. I see some more stucco cracking up above there. Be nice to get the house fully repainted. The pool itself looks nice and clean.
And this outdoor patio furniture could be improved for sure. Yeah, overall it's just a very brown, beige, kind of dull space. It's lacking that crisp, clean, colorful look. Refrigerator's got some dents and dings in it. Cooktop, it's been used quite a bit. All right, let's go take a look upstairs. This is very common to have these stairwells be really beat up from all the suitcases and the shoes. Whether you re-carpet or you do vinyl, that's something you definitely want to do. Up here, same thing, the walls need fully repainted. Start with this frozen theme room. This could be improved, maybe even do bunk beds there. Here's a queen bedroom. You can see it opens up to a loft area. And there's just bedrooms on every corner, but they're all gonna need, ooh, you can hear that. That floorboard needs to be screwed down whenever they replace the carpet. So more paint, more carpet, bathrooms here. re -caulking. The granite tops are good, the cabinets are good. But it is going to be a significant amount of money spent on cosmetic work as well as furniture, bedding, theme rooms. Here's the theater room. This is another space where you could decide, like, is this better as a theater or as another bedroom? And the pool table, not sure if that's really the best use of that space. Possibly doing another couch there might make sense. But that view out the back is very private. No home behind you. And we're very close to the Oasis Club. In summary, this home definitely needs a significant amount of paint, flooring, furniture spent, overall handyman work, exterior maintenance updates, interior, quite a bit of cosmetic work, stuff in the bathrooms, paint work, kitchen stuff. Not fully gutting the house by any means, but a lot of flooring and paint inside. Uh, and that's gonna help punch it up and get that nice, clean, fresh feeling one more time and get better reviews and get higher rents and just have a fully booked calendar because it is in a great location. It is very close to the Oasis Club and in the heart of it all. And this is a nice corner street. Feels like a street of luxury, Mediterranean homes. Uh, this one's just feeling a little bit tired uh, and worse for wear. I also like the, the fact the back has nice privacy. So uh, I'm just gonna put a number on it. I'm gonna say 50,000 to bring this up to snuff. So let's go see a newer property that's up the road, a little further away from the Oasis Club, but doesn't really need any updates for around the same price. Here we go. And we're back. Okay, so now we're at a newer property built in 2019. This is further north from the Oasis Club, but still part of Champions Gate, has all the access to that same pool. But your guests are gonna have to get in the car to drive down there. But these are the newer homes. They're up, up the hill. We're actually a little bit closer towards 192. There's a back way that you can take to get up to the parks. This is an eight bedroom, five bathroom home. Four days on the market, already has multiple offers on it. So we're here, the deadline to submit the offer is tonight at 9 p.m. But I want to check it out and see these two homes back to back and see which one makes more sense. So let's go. It's funny how now the architects are doing this kind of split roof line. Uh, obviously here, this is a vacation home community, so all the homes look the same, but uh, just interesting to see how they're bringing in some of that stone and modern roof line, the way they split the stucco even. All right, 
see the difference between this one and that one we just saw. Okay, so very similar layout, right? When you first come in, there is a full on guest suite right here. And this is newer, so the carpet looks better and the paintwork and the bedding. And in the uh, bathrooms, it's very similar, just, you know, a little bit cleaner, newer, nicer, durable tile. This L shape island from the kitchen makes a huge difference. The white cabinets. Uh, this furniture is a bit small, I feel like, but it makes the space look big. That's a nice big table. Now, same thing, this carpets. They got a darker carpet there, a little more durable. And they have the railing instead of the knee wall. Let's take a look at what you pay for. So your guests booked this knowing they've got their pool. They've got golf course views out the back there. So good privacy, there's a tree kind of blocking when the golfers do get to the green. If you want to go to the Oasis Club and enjoy that, you still have full access to that. Gonna be another guest suite down this way. AC cabinet. This goes to the garage, which they haven't really made this into the full on game room. It does have a pool table, ping pong table, but they haven't done the air conditioner just yet and insulated the garage but you could definitely do that in this space. Here's that additional downstairs master. So everything's just more gray and white. And just like the other house, this goes out to the pool. We're gonna need to replace some beddings. Let's do a little touch up paint work. I like the elevation. This home is slightly elevated above. It's a nice railing here. All right, so you first come up the stairs. This could probably benefit from a little more theme room being jazzed up. But then again, the, the neutralness of it is also quite calming. So same layout, the railing makes a difference. I like that. Okay, here's a theme room, just a Nemo theme. Kids bath. Yeah, this bedding's gotta go. Carpets are good shape though, still. Rooms after rooms after rooms, right? Got a little Star Wars movie room with the projector. That's nice. Did a good job there. This space is lacking a little bit, I feel like. And I didn't see any bunk beds, you know? At least one of the rooms, I'd like to see some bunk beds to bring up that number of sleeps 20. A 
appliances are that black stainless, so no fingerprints. You can see it's already starting to happen here, just that little cooktop stuff. Okay, so that one is definitely in better condition and it's newer. So the exterior maintenance, the paint on the outside, just the need to spend money on the inside, there's less of that required right now. Uh, it's also listed higher, 763,000 asking price, and it already has six offers on it. Uh, I heard some of them might be over asking cash. So just goes to show you that when something is moving ready, ready to go, and in the investment market, just buy it and go ahead and start collecting the rental income without any further investment to it. Those tend to sell quickly, even despite their location being a little further away from the amenities. Uh, I think renters that are coming from the UK and from Canada too would agree they'd like to stay in something newer and nicer rather than something that feels kind of old and tired. Um, on the flip side of that argument, if someone was to spend a bit amount of money on that first property we saw today and really bring it up to that high standard of quality and in the great location, I think that could be a winner for many years to come. Well, thanks again for joining me as we've checked out some of these short-term rental vacation homes in the Southwest Champions Gate Disney area. If you'd like more information on this type of property or others in the Orlando area, don't hesitate to give me a call. My number's below or reach out to us the channel thanks again for watching we'll see you on the next one okay cooper how was that oh, good. <sighs>